Okay, we're going to try to get in another good match with Hierarch Delver here in Standard. This is just for fun. I'm Maddie. This is right before the Wednesday downtime here on Veterans Day. Shuffler cursed again. Um, we have to keep this, but it's terrible. Oh, well, our opponent is on a multi of five, so... We're both shuffler pwned here. Alright. That was not a land. In fact, if I draw nothing but lands for the next five turns, I'll be happy. Aha. Uh -huh. You know what? Maybe we just play both of them now. I think we do. This way there's a good odds of one of them surviving to get through. Alright, so if we flip our Delver here, we're in really good shape. <laughs> See what we can do. Ah! My desk is squeaking here. Alright. Nothing, that's a good sign. All right, there's that disdainful stroke that we bottomed. All right. Complete disregard, okay. So here I could either, um, Anticipate to hit a land drop, or it can pass with stroke up and anticipate end of turn. So I'm going to go for option B here. In case, you know, opponent plays land, medium sized creature, and then we're just, you know, big trouble. Or like land, no, huh? outpost siege, you know, <laughs> something, something bad. Okay, nothing. Anticipate. Um. Yeah. Ojitai's command is not bad. Alright. So we can attack here. Alright, we got through. And we can start chipping away here. Working toward our dig through time. Dragon fodder. That's not a creature spell, so I cannot counter it. Flesh bag marauder. That I can counter. Yep. So we get a planes with this. And then we cast this. Okay, bivouac. Okay, <laughs> another flooded strand. Um, that allows us to dig through time. Going to attack here. If opponent double blocks that wild slash one, we've effectively traded wild slash. All right, no blocks. That's cool too. Your turn.
Okay. Smothering abomination. Okay, first thing we're going to do is fetch that. Second thing we're going to do is counter that. Third thing we're going to do is pass priority. And finally, this will culminate in some delving. And here, I think I want a threat, but we don't get one. Um, so, definitely want this anticipate. Um, maybe we'll get a second clutch here. All right, but we bottomed all these cards that weren't entirely useful at this point, so. Oh, Fiery Impulse. Okay. Um, let's go for the same move we went for last time. Okay, he's got no cards in hand, so more likely to go for it this time. Wild Slash a Goblin. Other one dies. We can pass back. Another dragon fodder, okay. All right, knuckle blade, perfect. All right. Land, perfect. Okay, so we'll go clutch. Bounce one of those, animate the planes. Make a 3-3. Three, three. Tempo AF. <laughs> Clutch of Currents. Is, is just a really great card. Really enjoy playing with that. Cause it's got it's got three modes actually. Cause mode one is void snare, uh, unsummon whatever. Mode two is five mana. Three three comes into play tapped bounce and mode 3 is 6 mana 3-3 three, three haste bounce right so all right lumbering falls here I think I slam knuckle blade Give it haste. And looks like he's going to pop his foundry. But we have fiery impulse up. For any of those kind of shenanigans. Hmm. 
Now, opponent, I don't think, has made any wrong decisions this game, you know. Um, it's just that our draw matched up well against his draw, you know, this, this particular time. Which is one of the things about a deck like mine where there's a lot of just random answer cards. Sometimes they'll all match up and sometimes they won't, you know. Um, but Dig Through Time and Treasure Cruise do a lot to smooth that out and make that strategy more appealing. Because you have more odds of, of being able to grab the specific answer that you need. Okay, triple block my land. Not sure I even care about that. But, I don't know. It seems too, 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 too good to pass up the value here. Save my land. Kill. Assign damage for planes. That seems funny. Oh, nice crack there. Felt it coming on. And concedes. Okay. I mean, even if he had Languish or Crux of Fate or something, we'd still be fine. Um. Should we try to board in the combo? It's tempting. Tempting, tempting. Um, you know what? I'm just gonna run it back. I think our main deck is is good against his deck. So, I mean, yeah. Ooh. Does that change my play here? No, I think I still want to be able to get blue. If I had drawn island or something or this would have gone for green white uh, swift taylor swift spear somebody wants to make me an altar of monetary monastery swift spear as taylor swift that would be amazing um well, let's get Prairie stream because why not? Okay, mountain. This is risky here if he has some kind of. I don't know what instant he'd be playing for one black. Maybe I just kill this now. All right. I mean, that precludes us for anticipating here, but I think we're going to be okay. Dead Bridge Shamalama Ding Dong. Okay. All right. New plan. Ignore that. Mantis Rider. So here, if he plays Fleshbag Marauder, that kind of sucks. So there's that.
do I discard? Probably Or just Kai Charm. Fetid Imp. Oh, Fetid Imp always gets his man. Nice. Um. Let's just tap down the Fetid Imp and attack. Here, do I trade? Probably not, no. Um, might end up just guy charming the, the fetid imp to get another uh, attack in and, you know, stall our opponent from drawing something else. We don't have the second blue to dig through time yet. Dragon fodder, okay. There's the second blue. But I don't think I want to dig through time this turn because I would have to tap out. And instead, I'd rather press my tempo advantage here. And Griff tied that. Um, here, I'm just going to attack with the rider. And I think we're going to take one more hit from this dead bridge shaman. Wild slash me. All right. I want to save that to take out my crisis. Like attack with both, you know, attack with everything, and I would probably block and eat a goblin, take out my god. Unless the plan is burn me out here. Fitted imp. Okay. Maybe here I do trade. Let's see what we anticipate for. Um. Yeah, I don't think any of these cards are really going to change a lot. So, I'll just take this land. B 
block. Trade off. Discard the land. Ooh. That's rough. All right. Um, hmm. Interesting draw. I mean, I can clutch and kill a token and make a 3-3. Three, three. But I think I'm just going to pass. Maybe try to dig through time. Maybe I should play one sweeper in this deck because I'm always playing control with it. Alright, take the damage. I wish this was creature three or more. <laughs> three or less, rather. Okay, what is this? Endless one. No. No, we can't let that resolve. Okay, Mantis Rider. But you know, that's not doing much to stabilize us here. So let's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 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 eight. Um, Hangerback Walker is not bad. Um, Roast doesn't kill that imp. Pretty far from another dig through time. Well, we're definitely taking this. And... Yeah, I don't know. I guess I'm going to take the Hierarch here, just because I can play both of these this turn. Hopefully opponent didn't play doesn't play anything that's turn. He drew a tap land, which is nice, so it's not gonna play a four drop. Interesting, he keeps that back. Um, I'm gonna take it. More goblins. Ew. All right. Okay. You know what? I'm going to offer this trade here because then after that my board looks a lot better than his.
and uh, yeah I can get rid of one of those tokens with clutch and then make a 3-3 three, three land and that'll really help I'm regretting not trading off a token for the hierarch because it's unlikely it would get in anyway but I have not had my coffee or my medication yet, so I'm getting sleepy. Let's see what he lands here. Hopefully he didn't draw complete disregard, that would be unfortunate. So here if he sends the clowns, I'm I'm blocking. Yep, okay, here they come. Alright, block, block, block. Alright, F6 and pray. <laughs> Ooh, smothering abomination. Well, if I clutch the token, then he has to sacrifice that. I mean, he would draw another card. I'm gonna, here's what we'll do, we'll offer the tra trade with Mantis Rider. Actually, should we? Yeah, let's keep him from drawing a card. Because we still have this hanger back as a threat. He's probably not going to block here. Yeah. Nice. Alright. Okay. Kill that guy. It eats itself. He does get to draw a card off of it, but format a cantrip really isn't that hot. Foundry, okay. Can't activate it yet two cards in hand for opponents treasure to cruise would be the best possible draw here flesh bag marauder that seems misguided to me sure I'll get three one ones. Flooded strand, not exactly the best here. Not even gonna play it. I think the the life could matter. And yep, would have taken a lot to deal with that. It, this 
Fleshbag Marauder was a, a bad draw and a huge mistake to play. So, good game though. That was uh, that was fun. It's pretty close the whole time. 